Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Thank you so much for staying with us. Now we're on to our second guest of the day and it's a very exciting one. You are about to learn all about the art of choreography and that is with Don Flex. Now he has worked with so many of your favorite celebrities including Peter Okoye and he's here today to tell us all about choreography and exactly how his career is going. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. All right. Uh, we've been speaking and I think it really ties into the conversation we had earlier. We had Taiwo Lawa who is a celebrity fitness instructor and you're a choreographer and I know that choreography is some form of fitness as well. Okay. Yeah. So um, how would you say that you found yourself in that world of choreography? You do really hardcore choreography. Yeah. I mean, you guys mimic Michael Jackson. If you have not even taken the mantle by now, <laughs> <laughs> how did you get into the level of extreme choreography that you are right now? And uh, what did you have to sacrifice? Um, okay. Um, first and foremost, maybe I'll just say it's a god-given talent um dancing basically so when you develop when you find out about your talent and you know people speak well of it and how you're progressing towards it the next thing that comes in mind is uh, okay let's make it let's take it to a professional level so you know um i find myself engaged in watch watching so many um, um dance movies um performances on youtube where I, I have to learn by myself by what i see or rather I have to watch, you know, what interests me to develop my own creativity, my own choreography. And then at the end of the day, I, I started working with people that are specialized in that act. Um, this was like two decades ago. So, you know, I learned to master the art and I became a very fast um, learner and also a very fast creative person when it comes to choreography. So it's, it's a very demanding task when it comes to, um, you know, trying to teach people because you need to just first create the routine and, and when you master the routine, then you well. teach the routine. Then I'm you also very um, interested in the fact that you said it's very demanding. So we'll come back and find out just how demanding it is for you. Okay. But for those of you who are wondering, what is all this Don Flex hype about? Take a look. <laughs> So, so are you like the challenge. winner of the coupe challenge? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, there are a whole bunch of people that did the challenge. Mm. So it's still on to this very moment because it's a trending song now in Africa, not just yeah. in Ghana as a whole. Because the artist is from Ghana. So, yeah, and the person that created the dance routine, this signature move is from Ghana. I was able to work with him two months ago before I went for the US tour. I met him. He was so excited. He wanted to work with me. And then he created Pilolo. I don't know if you're conversant with that move. The one, the move everybody walks and then switch their knees. Yeah. Yeah, so that's Pilole. You have to teach me that one before we. Okay, yeah, and Pilole, then that's Coupe, created by Incredible Ziggy. So it went viral and, you know, everybody's doing it. Like, even I'm, when I'm saying everybody, not just Africa, even in America, you see Jenna Jackson performing it. And people, the choreographers that are teaching are like the African choreographers that are based in America, taught them that same move, Coupe and Pilole. So. I guess Africa is taking over. Interesting. interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. So what's next for you? What's your next takeover? You've just come back from a very successful tour. Yeah, um, there's a whole lot on board. As a matter of fact, that's why I came back. Um, reality TV shows. I'm talking of dance reality TV shows. There's Dance Capital coming up. Um, it was supposed to start this year, but, you know, based on the timing, the sponsor said they want to shift it to next year, February. You know, and then... Um, we have Dance with Peter season two coming. You were a judge at Dance with Peter. Yeah, I was a judge in Dance with Peter season one. So season two is fast coming. And then a couple of shows that I have to do with Mr. P himself, because as you all know, I was, I, I was the choreographer for the amazing Do P Square. I worked with them for uh, more than a decade. So before they had, their, they had to do their separate thing. And now I'm working with Mr. P, not because um, I prefer Mr. Peter Paul, but because Peter is the, when it comes to dancing, he's the one that loves doing it most. Okay, let's let's ask you how the splitting of Peter no, and Paul affected you. Okay, affected me. Yes. Okay. Um, well, I would not really say affected me. Let's just say the other, the other um, better half loves to sing more and has always wanted to do away with dance, you know, because he had he experienced an injury in the past that had to do with his um, backbone so due to dance so he wanted to take it on the easy side or more or less forget about it but um, he's, uh, his better half on the other hand Peter 
he wants to be consistent with it because he believes that's part of what made them. That it's not just about the music, singing, it's the whole package, singing, dancing, being energetic on stage. So he wants to keep up with that, you know, trend. Or because he feels that was what makes him stand out from every other he artist. He calls it his better half. Don't let his wife catch you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's Thank so. you, though. Thank you so much for yeah. joining us I'm today. saying that for <laughs> sake of twins, sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I totally we understand. Get you. Yeah. We totally get understand. you. How can people follow you on social media, reach out to you for any more information? Oh, yeah. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, um, Dumpf, at Dumflex, D-O-N-F-L-E-X-X, -X, slash, that's extra X-ray. And um, on Facebook, you can just, I'm hardly on Facebook, but I still have to put it because of management. You can type down Flex Nonso Asobe. Nonso Asobe is my real name. And of course, Twitter at Don Flex. Um, I'm guessing you chose Don Flex because of how flexible you are. Well, yeah, people call me Flex generally, but you know, I wanted the name to stand out when it got to an extent that I have to brand myself. So. You know, because I've been in the dance game for a while, so there are a lot of people that started with me and they've stopped on the way. So I just have to get it befitting them. So a friend of mine, I should add Don to it. So yeah. Before we went on Africa, I wanted to ask you a question, which I'm going to ask you before we let you go. What are some of the things that you've had to give up, the sacrifices you've had to make for dance? So, for example, we know some people will tell you oh, there are certain type of foods I can't eat, I have to work out for this number of um, hours. So what would you say are some of the sacrifices you've made? Did you even have to give up maybe another career choice to follow dance poorly? Well, I wouldn't put it as a career, but I used to be a great artist, like draw, I draw and paint. Um, and from my nursery to primary to secondary school days, I went for competition with my elder brothers and I used to come first for all the competitions so you know it was like a potential like a sign that I'm going to be an artist and what have you but it was during my secondary school days that I found discovered my love for dance I was so passionate about it you know I went for inductions people speak well of it you know to university to polytechnic to universities and then I decided to take it up as a career when 2003, I met, I met with all these artists. I started with Rugged Man, worked with him for three years before I met P-Square. How did you meet them? I met Rugged Man at um, Yellow Festival by, you know, MTN, Yellow Festival. So nice. I met, that was how I met other couple of dancers. That was my first time in the industry because I started off in church with my, with my group, so I had to advance. So meeting Rugged Man, after that performance at Yellow Festival, he said he wants to retain me as his dancer. So yeah, I worked with him for videos like Big Bros, Baraje, um, what have you, the tons of them. And then 2006, I met P Square when they moved in from Just to Lagos. They saw my performance and they loved it. And you know, Peter was like, he wanted to work with me. I worked with them a few times and they found out that I, I, I have creativity for creating routines fast and they feel maybe their routines are you know old-fashioned so they need to get someone that will you know up their game so that was how far you've, you've gone you've become a global brand not just an Nigerian brand you're doing tours around the world thank you're you you're doing dance classes and we look forward to seeing you do your massive dance class in Nigeria yeah. I would Absolutely. love to come Very and soon. burn some calories Very and learn soon. some new dance moves Very as well soon, for sure, for sure. and at the end of the day you're still doing art because dance is also a form of art so you might have given up art in form of drawing and painting exactly you're doing your art in precisely dance. thank, thank you, you so much, so much. For thank, you. thank you thank you okay you. now let's round up the show of course we have to let you know exactly what's going on today in history now apparently today is international cupcake day so for all you cake <laughs> lovers out there today is cheat day oliver are you having a cupcake i am having one i actually brought cake for you yesterday oh to yes work, you, and you said. ran away i shared the cake so I need, with the office is it finished i think there's a little left oh can i have it left. yes you yeah. can <laughs> and it's really really oh, nice can i say something yeah. yes please i'm so sorry you guys asked a very valid question and there's something else you know, distracted. distracted. So yeah, depression. things you had to give up. Did you give yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I had to do some of that. Not everything. I like. I don't watch what I eat, but then again, I have to watch it. But because because of dance, I burn them fast. Because most people, here's the thing. Most people, the the fastest way to burn calories is dance. 
Mm. People don't know that. You know, they have to go to the gym, work out, do treadmill. But if you dance, like imagine if you're rehearsing for an hour or two, it's the 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 um. You burn calories faster. Exactly. And your you're your activity your exactly affects all the whole system of the body. So dancers can eat cupcakes. Yeah, they can. Dancers, you can eat cupcakes, <laughs> and I can eat a cupcake too, even though I'm not a dancer. And after <laughs> eating the cupcake, we can now go and play music in the house. Make our own coupe challenge video. Really, coupe challenge on TV one of these days. I think so. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to follow us collectively at Wazobia Max across all social media platforms. Of course, you can follow the beautiful Olive and Modi at Olive and Modi across all social media platforms. You can follow Don Flex at Don Flex with two X's at the end. And you can follow me at LJS Online. It's been an absolute pleasure. We'll be back tomorrow. To enjoy more of this, our Ugon Get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.